Assalamu alaikum everyone. In today's video, we're going to do a review and unboxing of a Sansi 24 watt grow light. Now, this is the first time I actually got a grow light. I've had, I've read very good reviews on this. So, that's, if you can see, Boba's sitting on the shoulder. I've let her out today. She's going to play her out. Come on, go for it. <laughs> She's going to be a helper. She's going to be a helper, yeah. So let's unbox it, Baba. Yes. Right, this is 24 watts. 24? 24 watts. It's not a lot, but it's LED. So this LED is very powerful. Very. As you can see, 24 watts Sansi. They do them in, I think, 30 watts as well. 30. And they've even got 60 watts. 46 watts I believe, 60 watts. This is in, in the mid range, in the middle. And these, I've, I've read the reviews on these. This one was, I believe, 20 pounds from eBay. 20 pounds? 20 pounds, 19.99. The bigger one's a bit more. I'll, I'll put a list of the prices on the description. And this is very good, very good for growing plants, little seedlings, even big plants. The more powerful it is, the bigger space you can more plants you can grow the bigger space it covers and the fitting is a e27 as you can see e27 fitting on it and it's got ceramic on the outside and then it's also got hard case plastic cover hard plastic cover on it so let's shall we wire it up Jakob? Yeah. you want to wire it up and have a look at it right so Baba. these are very good grow lights with the thing with grow lights you can grow your plants all year round and we have to be careful because Bobo said the light might go in his yeah. eye yeah <laughs> the light might go in his eye so let's give it a shot let's wire it up e27 light fitting it's quite heavy it's not that heavy the bigger ones are much more heavier so today i'm just opening up fitting it see how it works Hello everyone, so this is my boy Bobo, he's so silly, I remember to subscribe to Right, normally with lights like this, you need about, for your plants, you need about 8 to 12 hours of light. But this has to be on for 8 to 12 hours to get the best, best out of your plants. And for that, you should get one of these timer so you, you set the time on the time you want it to come on the time you want it to go off so best will be in between 8 to 12 hours depending on the plants how big they are and how much light they need also you gotta know which height to put it in so i'll show you a chart on the video so you know which height it should be depending on the plants and the seedlings and the timer as well how to set up the timer so shall we light it up baba yeah so we E27, be careful when you're working with plugs and all that, always be careful with them. So let's screw it on. It's very simple, it's a screw on. There you go. Get a screw in there. Oh, is this the light stick? Right, yep, screw in tight. And do you want to turn it on, Baba? Whoa, <laughs> look at that. that. It is very powerful. Look at this. Have a look. I've got a few plants out here. So, what we do, let's take it into the greenhouse and wire it up and see how it does. Money wise, I think it's one of the best grow lights you can get. 20 pounds, very good. I'm gonna give this a shot and if it's very good, I'm gonna get the bigger ones. Get the bigger, you can actually get one with four arms on, extend and cover the bigger ground. Right, let's take it in the greenhouse and have a look at it in the greenhouse. Hey guys, so here I am in the greenhouse. This is just temporary, I mean I've got nowhere to hang it, so I've got to find a place for this. I might even put it in the aviary in my shed, okay. once I've got the seedlings and everything. Let's plug it in, plug it in here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Where are we going to hang it? We'll find a place to hang it, Baba. So, there you go, see? How much brightness is showing. So it's 
It's amazing actually, I think this is 6,000k lumens. Lumens is what you measure the light with. So this is a full X spectrum light, a full X spectrum. And full X spectrum means it's just like sunlight. So it's everything the sun gives, sunlight, apart from the heat, it does not get very hot. As you can see, it doesn't get hot, which is very good. So it's not dangerous. And then, there you go. That's it. So it's a good light, very good light. I'll put it in action. I'll do another review on it, see how the plants are thriving, how the plants are doing. So I suggest if you want to grow light, go for one of these. You got even 15. Where did you get it from? From eBay. 1999 from can eBay. you get it from Amazon too? You can, Amazon too. You can also, I mean, use this for other purposes, not just as a grow light, as a normal light for your garage, your bedroom, anywhere. It's good for garage. Mm. Good for garage. Here's a chart of how long the light should be kept on and at what height it should be kept for seedlings and plants. Right, let's put the spotlight on Jakob. Look how it looks, really bright. So once again, thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget to up, up, subscribe, subscribe and assalamu alaikum everyone. Yeah. <laughs>